Hey guys, Miss Jager here, and welcome back to my Star Wars X3 AP. And for some reason there's no music, which I don't understand, but oh well. Um, oh no, there is music, we just can't hear it. Alright, so we're back, and in the last episode we did a bunch of things. First of all, we were able to build up some defenses around this John Furco research station, which is nice. And we were then given the task to basically be a bit of a baby bitch, as an ammo bitch, and grab some of the um, sort of stuff that they need to do in order to survive, which is fair enough, I guess. However, now we are going to uh, commit and somewhat cheat and do a mission, because there is a mission, we've been given the assignment of, of delivering a ship. We deliver a L to the barrel station. So, in order to somewhat get through this without dying too much, I will just actually create the ship in question. So, what's it called again? It is known as an L. The Briel. Deliver, deliver an, deliver a L to the research station. Right, okay, so I need to find an L, or at least what it could be. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but we might as well have a look. D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. I'll be an alpha. We'll go Argon. Argon L available. Right, so apparently L is available somewhere. Right, where is it? Argon L. Oh, there it is. Where am I in relation to it? Oh, there it is. Ah, there it is. Right, a couple of kilometers away. I hope this is the correct one, because otherwise we're in for a long haul. Right, now that we've targeted it. First of all, force pilot eject. Ejected. Then we take ownership. Ship computer control transferred. Okay. Now that we've done that, I hope this is the right one. I'll be honest with you, I have no idea whether or not. Right, okay, so. Uh, navigation. Dock at. I'll be an alpha. The research station, I guess, is the optimal thing to do. Docking granted. Command accepted. Right, so we have no idea whether this is or is not the ship in question. But we might as well try. If not, then I could just sell it. Or destroy it, which would be the more law-friendly motive, because then that way I won't benefit from it. There, you see? I'm getting there. Right. So, let's see if this works. If this works, then fantastic. Because then, yes, it's cheating, but in all honesty, this thing is, is one of those... No aim. Barrel Research Station. Incoming message. Yes. Might have been it. Great work. This will keep us busy Woo! for a while. If you take a look at the ships docked at the station, you will see that some have been gifted to you. You've earned them. Ooh, wow, okay. Ooh. You handled the barrel well, Sergeant. We never know what to expect with those people. Always playing with AI technology and xenon. If they weren't so crucial to the war effort, they would be in a penal colony. The situation in Albion seems to be calming down. The Plutarch Mining Corporation has surprisingly taken up security duty for the whole sector while John Fricot gets back on its feet. 
Colburn has requested that we take a look at the highway construction areas. Pirates have been seen scanning and salvaging them. If they are still there, take them out. Sweet. Well, before we do that, you are talking positive. Please, I will... dog. As soon as you get green position lights. Before we do that, I am gonna get those ships. Then see what kind of ships were available. Because this will be awesome. That'll be actually kind of a nice, cool thing. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. So that was a pretty good ending to that. So a little bit of a cheatsy doodles. I do apologize, but at the same time, in the interest of keeping the progress going. Um. Oh my God. What? Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation is honored to welcome you aboard. Connection uh, to local uh, trading network monitor. established. Right, you know what? Uh, Attention, last call for command accepted. Command accepted. I don't know whether this is going to crash command the game or not. Accepted. So I will save. In case this fucks up. And then that way, if in case they do, then duck. What ships is this? Right, well we have a number of ships under our command. There they are. Barrow Research Station. Decker, Kefa. Oh, okay, so it's like some kind of... Oh, wow. Holy shit. They look pretty nice. Not gonna lie. They actually look pretty freaking nice. I like that. I mean, I can't use them, because... Well, we're gonna... Well, what I can do is instead... They seem to be traveling fairly quick as well, which is nice. Right, um... Hmm... What I'll do is I'll uh, tell my guys what is it's a little bit of a risk, but if they go to Argon and then they go to the shipyard, command accepted. It's a little bit of a risk because we don't know. Ooh. Dock at. Docking granted. Command accepted. Right, and then your one. Command. Commonsole. Commonsole! New word. Uh, we'll go to the military Docking outpost on that granted. one. Granted. Command accepted. Okay, so those guys are going to fly out of here. Where we need to go to Albion Beta. Is it Beta? Beta. There we go. So... We done good. We've got our ships, which are now going to be moving on to uh, dock at those dockyards. There we go. And then once we get them there, I can sell them for whatever kind of profit I could use, which then I can then switch around to. Um, yep. Um, which then I can swap. Which then I can swap around to. Uh, oh, that's a point. How do I? T Is bounce enabled? Because I have a feeling they might blow themselves up. Because AI, don't trust them. Uh, yes, hashtag. Bounce is enabled. Yes, thank the Emperor. Okay, so, yeah. Um, now that we've taken care of that. Oh, that's perfect timing. Transorbital um, accelerator. Albion, beta. Yes, beta. Yeah, so, um, or beta. Beta, whatever. It is a language that is useful to some. So yeah, now that we can do that, um, what I'll do is I'll just save progress. And then what we could do is once we've got the money for the ship's, set, the ship's sails, then we can enjoy... Uh, we can enjoy a lovely little... Um, wow, ten minutes already. Jeez. Um, just, just amazing how time goes. Anyway, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll save here, get my X-Wing. Oh, fucking knock. God damn it. Yeah, not a big fan of this particular thing. But hey, at least we'll have the freaking... Um... I don't know why it does that. I think I might be having something that has a bit of a glitch we'll have to worry about. But it's not the end of the world. It's just, unfortunately, it's not, <clears throat> it's not that perfect. 
Hopefully, once this new, um, well, I'm kind of curious. Hopefully, because now we're going back into action. Now, we might hopefully be able to uh, get a slightly more powerful. There we go. Oh my god! Uh. Yeah, hopefully once um, we, we can get back into the action and take the fight to the... Uh... Right, let's save here just in case the contacts we get are not so friendly. Because as always, this game has the tendency to throw us into the shit. I'll be honest with you, when I was playing, playing through this game in early difficulties, or at least as the Rebel Alliance, you don't really get much of a chance. Like, you... Like, you get the X-Wing, sure, and you get to do a certain amount of the things. But you don't really um, get... Like, for example, the section where you have to take on the De Star Destroyer. You are not going to survive that. And you're, over a half you're completely reliant on AI to help you out on that one. Now, while the AI does get reinforcements and respawns... Ah, there we go. Contacts. Um, Pirate Nova. Oh, yeah, that guy's... Okay. Somebody don't like me. Alert. Missile closing. Alert. Missile closing. Oh wow, I think because I shot it up so much, so close to the target. On behalf Boom. of our president and senator. The Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. As a reward, you get 5,000 credits. Nice! 5k and that money. That's... that's Alert. handy. Missile oh! Missile be Target done! Oh, bloody hell. Is that a big ship? Well, that seems like a big ship. I do not feel Whoa! Whoa. And that's gone. Shield's taken a bit of a hit, but nothing too serious. Think we can take this on? Yeah, boy! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Yep. Yeah, you ain't getting my... <laughs> you ain't getting shit. Way! <laughs> oh, I needed this fight. Pirate Falcon. Oh, that's awesome. That's right, pirate scum. You fucking run away. Wait, you're gonna fly straight into that. The hell? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> you serious? He's like, ah! 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 <laughs> I almost feel bad trying to kill you. What the Christ they are? Oh my god. Oh, I feel... I feel bad. I feel, like he's trying to bug out, obviously, but I don't think he gets the whole flying aspect down. Oh my god. Right, okay, shall we... Yeah, we'll finish him off. That's... I don't know whether that's sad or pathetic. Or, uh, or I feel bad. Like, I, I feel like I'm shooting a wounded... Oh no. Yeah, you are not getting out of there, mate. I'm sorry. I'm not letting you live. He's got a lot of health, this guy, as well, so he's going to be a bit of a nice, tidy profit if I can kill this wanker. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And... Zip 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 zip. Um. We done good. We done good. And the game's now lagging. That is a... What do you think you are doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just doing your job for you, like always. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're welcome, is the word um, I would use if you guys weren't such assholes. But I guess because you're so fancy pants with all your shit in the bag, guess I'll just have to take it. Hey, I got paid though, so, you know, I am not complaining. And eight, and like, what, 5,000 credits per kill, uh, plus the 8k on there. We must be sitting pretty tidy on financial reasons. Uh, right, let's have a look at my, uh, pilot. So let's have a 
look see my property is yeah we got a lot of money oh my god i got a lot of money <laughs> that sounded like goofy <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a fair amount of cash not going to lie um it's even more funny when you realize that the bounties i had are still the same as before they're only uh what was it they're only ah yeah wait 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 no no the money <laughs> miss jager has money dun 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 no but like the funny thing is I still have the same level of cash uh, infl influx as um, I had, like, when you get the bounties when you're patrolling in friendly territory. You still get the same level of money um, as, uh, I still got, I still get the same level of money. It's so silly. Right, anyway, let's, let's make our way back over there. So we've done pretty good. I am satisfied. We have made some money, which also means we can actually do something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, which is I want to buy a heavier fighter. Now, obviously, you can buy the big ships, and I have had comments in the past talking to me about how there should be, like, a big trading thing, and I do that. Maybe in the future, if I ever come back, to, if I come back to this, I'll definitely go more of a trading sort of thing, setting up, like, a massive empire. But right now, I'm in the mood for blood, and this campaign is a good example of such. So... Rather than do that for now, um, instead I want to concentrate on fight, single fighter, uh, sorry, single seater, heavy fighters, or um, <clears throat> or bombers. So the two vehicles I have lined up, or at least one of the, I want to get one of two vehicles. One, eh, actually three, but one's technically an upgrade on this one. Sorry, I was trying to listen to the music because I thought I heard it was the intro music from the main uh, menu. <clears throat> no, but basically, the first vehicle I had in mind to try and grab was the B-Wing. Now, I'm not a big fan of the B-Wing. Um, it's not my favorite looking uh, Rebel Starfighter, but I cannot lie, it is incredibly powerful. Um, it's basically the P-47 of... Uh, actually, no, I would say the, the X-Wing is the P-47. Um... If we're comparing it about American vehicles, I would say the P-38 Lightning, that would be the, uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, the B-Wing is the P-38 Lightning of, uh, I mean, a more accurate representation would be, uh, the X-Wing would be the P-38, uh, sorry, the, the P-47 would be the B-Wing because the B-Wing has heavy guns, it has ion cannons, it has a lot more shields and what, you know, yada, 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 yada. But because I love the P-47, I don't want that lumbered with the P the B-Wing because I don't like the B-Wing. I don't like its aesthetics. It doesn't, in, me, in my opinion, it's my least favorite uh, rebel fighter because it just, to me, aesthetically, it's ugly. Um, I'm very vain, I realise about that. But still, it's it's my own personal taste on the matter. So, that is... But I will not deny it is very, very powerful. And as such, it can do a lot of damage. So that is one of the things. The other plane... Uh, plane... Ship I wanted to grab, which I absolutely am very much more intending on grabbing, is the Y Wing. As not only have they updated uh, recently, they've updated the um the, the heads up the the cockpit of the thing, so it look it pro it looks pretty good already. It's a bit of a shame I did not see what the Y Wing looked like before the update, but I'm sure the Y Wing um cockpit is going to look absolutely stellar anyway. So um. With all that said and done, um, another, but the main reason why I want to have it is because it's the Y-Wing. It's one of the heavy hitters of the Rebel fleet, and it is probably one of the sexiest uh, Rebel bombers I have ever seen. I mean, as I said, sure, the B-Wing could do some damage, but the Y-Wing has the proper proton, the proper proton torpedoes. Um, not only do they have, the, not only that, but it also has a gunner on the rear, which is very handy. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that works in this game, but um, I'm sure once it, if I can just get this along with a very powerful uh, set of... Uh, uh, if I can get this and a very powerful set of proton Entry torpedoes. Um, or a, an, a, a, oh, an equivalent powerful missile, then I would be more than happy to uh, rip this one. Uh, to rip the uh, Empire a new one. Because they're bastards. They deserve it. So, as long as we can take care of that, that sounds good. 
So that's the other vehicle that I really, really, really wanted to get. Because, um... It's, you know, it's a, it's a Y-Wing. I think that explains it in itself. I mean, grabbing an A-Wing would be also fantastic, but that's sort of lower on the list. Um, the other vehicle that I sort of mentioned as more of an upgrade is, of course, the T-70 variant of the X-Wing. Um, if any of you are wondering what that is, basically it's the X-Wing that's in uh, The Force Awakens. Um, it's a mod It's basically... I'm going to sound very... I'm going to sound, this is how much of a stat it is. Basically, the X, this particular X-Wing... Um, has a sort of different style engine instead of having four separate engines it still has the four separate engines but instead of having their all you know having all four of those sort of rotary wings inside that uh, particular in the particular x-wing bay you instead have um just four sort of in four in one sort of thing with their sort of halves cut out it also has you know it was also much faster the shielding is better um you know it's it's the equivalent of sort of uh, a Leopard 2A6 very version of the Leopard 2. You know, there are... It's still pretty much an X-Wing as per standard. It still has a time and back uh, la laser cannon and all that jazz. But it's more maneuverable. It's, you know, it's got a better engine. It's got better, you know, it's got a better variant of the time and back laser cannon. It, I'm not too sure, has the ability to... I think it still has more proton torpedoes, but more powerful variants. I think it has a slightly better shielding as well. Again, I don't know the intermediate details, but it is... The true. It was also one of the true. Uh, I. It, I love how I say I don't know, and I, I tried to profess system. that I know. <laughs> um. From what I from what I remember, the T seventy variant was actually one of the original concept designs of the X wing. So for this particular variant to um, be sort of used in my it's sort of be used. I would, I think near the end of this campaign, we would jump into a T-70 variant of the X-Wing. Because I love that thing. You know, I love the X-Wing. It's my absolute favorite Star Wars fighter of all time. Um, I never will ever... And this is the problem. To a degree, this is the kind of the problem. I don't want to stop flying this ship. I love it too much. It's... It... <laughs> it's my wifey. I can't be without her. You know, if I was incredibly sad, which I'm not that far off the point, I would even give her a name. Um, I love this thing. And I just... Oh, I I know there are better ships out there. And I know there's probably someone in the comment section who, if they watch this, they go, Why are you just using the X-Wing? There's so much more to use and blah, 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 blah. But I just... I see other ships and I'm like, Yeah, that looks good, but you're not an X-Wing. Oh my god, I know. These, they're just, they're all so good. X-Wings, I love them. I just can't stop loving the X-Wings. It was, ever since I was a kid, I just, my brain was hooked on X-Wing. So, yes, alas. Are... Scimitar. Ooh, Scimitar, nice. Scimitar or Scimitar? I've always went Scimitar because... Sk okay, big gun at the front. Don't go near front. I don't have missiles, do I? No, no, I do not. That's fine. We'll, we'll do some hit and run strikes on this guy anyway. Target is now in firing range. There we go. 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 As long as I can keep on his ass, I think I'll have the engagement. Ooh. Yeah. Sixty percent on the power. Yeah, I've got him. I've got him. No, nope. I'm sorry, Mr. Terran. You're not getting anywhere. Your big guns are never going to save you now. <laughs> you wreck my shields. I think I'm going to do more than wreck your shields, mate. You might want to consider giving up. Otherwise, you're about to go in three, On two... On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your... Cargo bay now contains... Hey, Poltergeist missile. Yeah, so yeah, money. There we go. So, victory. Glorious, glorious victory. And that's one less Skimtar. To, uh, or Scimitar. Or Skimtar. I'm gonna call it Sk Skimtar. That actually kind of sounds nice, though, Skimtar. Kind of nice. I'm not saying it's the most amazing thing in God's creation, but still, Skimtar. Hmm. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, I love the X-Wing. So yeah, that would be one of the only other variants of the ship. Like, that would be the upgrade sort of thing. Because the X-Wing T-70 variant is uh, an upgraded version of the X-Wing. And I think to round out the series, it would be a very nice... Um, 
wait around out. Of course, this is completely dependent on whether I can lock my S foils in attack position. If I can't, well, shit. <laughs> we are, uh, yeah, we'd be kind of boned in that respect. So, I'm at least spending a fair amount of this episode just traveling, but it's for a worthy cause. Um, do I have energy cells, actually? For energy cells. No, I don't. I'm going to have to buy some. That's going to be a bit of a pain. I wonder where my other vessels are. Uh, have a look at my property. So, they're in Albion Gamma, Albion Beta, uh, Hammerhead, Argon Sector. I've lost, uh, I've lost one, haven't I? Looks like it. They're at... Uh, they're at Albion Gamma, Albion Gamma. Oh, so that's how long they're taking. <laughs> Shit. So in the time it's taken me to get from all the way from there to just about in front of the Argon Sector M148, they've taken their sweet ass time and um, one of them, I think, smashed into a rock. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I don't really need it too much. Like, it's a, if, if I can earn money on them, that'll be fine. Um, ba boom I have to apparently dock at the sector, though, so... Uh, what I might do instead is I might... Um, I might, like, uh, pause recording and then sell the vehicles off, if I can. And then, once I've sold the vehicles off, then I can um, see what kind of money we're working with. Ah, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Whilst we're waiting for the thing to load, I might as well drink coffee. Coffee's amazing, isn't it? I love it. It's the greatest substance known to man. And I think that is... It is something I will not lie. I'm addicted to. I know that if I stop drinking it, my brain, my body, my whole thing will start craving it. And which is system. obviously... For people who don't like the... For people who don't like the concept, or people who don't like addictive substances, probably not the best thing to know. But coffee is... Oh, it's my lifeblood. It's my nectar. I, I, that said, when I was younger, I used to not like it. I used to think it was really horrible and bitter and X, Y, and Z. But, um... After a while, I began to feel... You know, I, I fell, if you will, under its influence and... Yeah, it was actually with um, it was in 2012 actually. That's when I start. That's when my date with destiny with coffee truly began. Because I tried cut various cups in the past, but nothing really stuck with me until um, uh, nothing really stuck with me until uh, this particular event. I was at the War and Peace show back when it was at Hop Farm 2012, and uh, my dad was sort of he smelt there. There was this, there was this guy with a vending machine. And, um, he basically, uh, like, this guy was, like, proper, like, uh, he's, like, headed on a little cart thing, like, and he actually had proper coffee beans, which he ground up into this sort of coffee machine. I was, oh, my God, it was amazing. Anyway, um, if I could, if I, oh, sorry, I'm just getting overexcited about coffee. Um, so anyway, um, so my dad, being addicted to coffee that he is, um, was like, hmm, I smell coffee. I'm going to have one. And so he tried. He sort of said, oh, what, 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 do you want to try one? Do you want a cappuccino? And I was like, well, I don't know. I'm not really sure about this sort of thing. I'm, I wasn't really keen. And he said, he said, tell you what, if you, I'll get you a cappuccino. You can have as much sugar if you want to, it, whatever. Um, you know, and... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, there it is. So he said, you know, if you get, if, you know, if you, if you, if you like, you know, have this cappuccino, it's, you know, it's the best way to get into coffee, have this cappuccino, and if, you know, if you don't like it, then I'll just finish it off, whatever, and, you know, it won't be a waste. So I was like, okay, let's give it a go. So he got, you know, we go to this guy, we grab a, you know, we grab my, you know, my dad grabs a espresso, I think like sort of semi-powerful coffee, um, and, uh, and I grab a cappuccino, and, um... The first sip, I was like, "Oh God, that's you know, it's you know, it's the the first sip I had. It was like it was it was what I used to have, it, like what I used to sort of expect. It was oh, it's really bitter, it's really nasty. I don't like it. Blah 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 blah. But then I thought, you know what? Try another sip. You know, what's worse could happen? And then it began. I took another sip, and the bitterness wasn't so bad. The you know, the texture of the coffee was there. I could taste the sugar as well in the coffee. And then I was I was like, oh, okay." This is okay now. I like this. And 
Yeah, I've never looked back, and now I'm at the point where I'm addicted. Uh, where even if I smell it, um. Okay, game. But did you like? Can I turn my end? Thank you. Um, so yeah, now I'm at the point now where if I smell it, I have to have one. Like, if I, even I talk about it, I'm like, okay, I really want a cup of coffee. <laughs> it's just why I am addicted to it. Um, unfortunately, um, I would say it's not so Oh, look at the X-Wing! Oh, look at this sexy motherfucking X-Wing! Oh! Wait, is that a T-70 variant? <gasps> That is not a T-70 variant. I have just made myself look like an idiot again. Oh, really? There we go. Waiting for the game Success to stop auto-saving. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation is honored to welcome you aboard. Okay, so... Right, so what we'll do is we'll just quickly get some energy kits. So, uh... Oh, you, you can see, you can get the products and everything. So, X-Wing, B-Wing, uh, RZ, A-Wing, R-60, T-Wing hauler. You know, a variety of sort of things. Look, there it is. T-70 variant. Um, so, what I'll do now is... Do I have energy? Is there any energy? No. Oh, wow, look at that. Look, look, equipment, Doc. Jeez. Right, what we'll do now is I will... Um, pause recording. Oh, that's kind of cool. I should try and keep my eyes to that. Acceleration, upgradable to that. I mean, I'm already kind of upgraded on that. Unless I've upgraded... Uh, I don't know. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll pause the game. Oh, pause recording until my time and back comes back. And we're back. And I just finally got my ships back, which is nice. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my God. What? Originally, terraforming drones deployed from the... Decker Keffer sold. Decker Keffer. Okay, so we just apparently earned some money. Oh boy, yes. So we earned about two million off that one sale, which is nice. Unfortunately, not all of my ships were able to make it. Sadly, the third one, because it took its time, uh, there was some weird kind of issue. Unfortunately, because my third ship took, uh, because my other ship took its time, uh, we've lost one, which sucks. But the good news is, um, I get, again, we have Military more than enough. Outpost. We have more than enough, which is cool. So what I'll do is I'll jump over to this particular station. We'll quickly, you know, go see what our new objective is. And um, then we can hopefully see if um, we can sell that ship. I can then get producti producting, new word producting, uh, producing of another ship. Uh, of the Y-Wing, and I'll be able to add all the good bits to it, so... Oh my god, we're in the lights. green as well, nice. Right, slow down a bit. Slow, slow, slow it down just a tad. And, ba ba boom There we go. Love this music. I don't think I'll ever stop loving this music. It's just so good. There we go. And we are. Right, so, now that we're in the ships. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Connection. Things are looking up in Albion. The security situation has improved, and people are starting to flood into the sector. It seems that John Tricot's promise of highways bringing prosperity is not falling on deaf ears. Yay. On the other hand, while we've been babysitting John Tricot, the front lines have taken a beating. Head over there and see what you can do to aid some of the sectors in conflict. Well, that sounds perfect. Right, so there we go. Next up is a mission where I was, I was actually going to say um, I was half tempted to try and um, get uh, fighting. So let's go to trade. And for some reason, it's not at this particular thing. God damn it. Right, well, what I'll do is I will have phone ships. Um, hang on. Uh, orders. Go to command console. Navigation. Dock at Docking Federal granted. Argon Shipyard. And, yeah, there we go. So, uh, what I will do, though, is I will grab some energy cells, because I do need some. 
Energy cells About are the unified energy 100, I'd say. Used throughout the whole known universe. Energy cells bought. Right, I'll also grab a couple of missiles. Poltergeist. I can't afford any because it's what Poltergeist, a missile that can be used by most US. <sighs> nothing, nothing substantial, is there? Nothing, nothing exceptionally nice, is there? Right, okay, so we're going to have to roll with that, but that's fine. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll wait for my ship to um, dock at the trading guard. I think that's the ship over there as well. Decker yep. Kefa. Your Decker Kefa. It looks pretty badass, I'm not going to lie. It's more of a bot, though, than anything. Though, its guns look lovely. Right, anyway, let's just... How fast does this thing travel? Okay, it's not slow. Well, it is slow. It's very... <laughs> it is not quick. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, slow is uh, definitely not, uh, what is one way to describe it, so, um, what we'll do is we'll wait for a couple of seconds, it's not going to be that long, they're going to be docking over there anyway, let's go and, yeah, over there as soon as possible, so yeah, the general, so what I want to try and do is, uh, once we've sold that other ship, we'll be able to see what kind of income we're rolling in, I'm reckoning we're going to have about, like, 11 mil, judging from how much we made of the previous one. So what we'll do with that money is we will buy a new ship, uh, the uh, Y-Wing, and then hopefully once we get more of that inbound, we can then um, maybe consider constructing the other ship, either the, either the, um, what was it, the, um, the T-60, sorry, T-70 variant, or the uh, no non-T-70. Right, there we go. Federal Argonne Shipyard. You are talking positive. Please dog. There as we soon go. As you get green position lights. There we go. I'm loving some of the ships that are flying around because I've got I think we've got a couple of vanilla ones. But then we've got a B-wing. Look at that. There's the B-wing. There it is right in front of us. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation is honored to welcome you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Done. Originally tariff. Right. So, now that that's the case, uh, we can undock. There we go. Save. Right, there we go. Victory for us. We've sold a couple of good ships. And it's looking pretty good. Right, okay, now that we've done that, let's get into the business of buying a ship. Huzzah. So, uh... This is this was one of the reasons why I wanted this particular thing in the first place. The new the improved racist system. Play a construction ship order ship. Now, here's how you do it. What you do is you obviously go into the menu, select order ship, and then what you do is you focus on Federal Argon Shipyard because that's where we want to collect it from. Um, I mean, you could go outpost as well, but um, getting it from the Argon Shipyard makes a bit more sense. So now we have an option of choosing what kind of ship we want. We either get an M3 class. Ironically, M4 is a bigger one, which is kind of cool. But anyway. Um, so we get the option of either choosing a Y-Wing, a B-Wing, or a B-Wing Sentinel. Now, let's have a look see at what kind of crap we can upgrade to. Well, at the moment, this is all that's available. But we will go with a Y-Wing S3M1, as that's what I want to get. So I'll hit that. We'll have a loadout. Um, we'll go with the fighter loadout. Uh, we can upgrade whatever. So, engine tuning. Um, rudder tuning. Engine tuning on. Rudder optimization, yes. Uh, max, two particle accelerator cannons, sure. Docking computer, yes. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll add equipment. What I'll do is I will grab the Singularity Time Engine Accelerator because that's something we're going to need. And I might also consider grabbing... Let's have a look. Nothing too special is that. I want to have some, a set of boost extension. We'll grab that as well. So, now that we've done that, um, save as an M3 loadout. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, we'll just put um, mark 1. Right, now... Now that we've done that, we can proceed to the checkout. And as you can see, um, it's going to cost us about 3 million credits to call. 
And uh, we need to have a home base, which I will make as... Uh... Sure. Yeah, sure. So my home base is the advanced satellite inside M Sector 148. And as we have 12 million credits, we are able to build it, which is fantastic. So, without further ado, bang! We have now done it. Yes, so that's 3 million credits gone. But, that said, we are now in a... Oh, look, there it is! Wait, what? Oh, it's still... Hang on, build time. Right, hang on. There we go. So, as you can see, the uh, ship is now constructing, which means it will take 25 real-time minutes in order to get completely constructed, which will be awesome. So, as we have a spare bit of moolah in our bank account, I think it would be okay to perhaps consider buying some missiles from the, um... Military outpost. I'm going to try and see if I can buy you some missiles. Because as as I kind of would like some ammo. Mainly because I want to try and utilize um, some of the decent weapons on myself. Hopefully what we can do also is once we've given this... Um, once we've given a... Uh, you know, let's try and dock before I talk because I, then I won't mess it up. Right, okay. So what I'm going to try and do is... Uh, on behalf of our president and senator, the Confederation is honored to can I use that? you aboard. I can't tell if I can use that. I have that. Poltergeist. No, there's not. doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem to be a Firestorm Torpedo. I don't think we have access to that. Um, right, we'll have to undock. This might sound a bit weird, but I'm gonna this is I'm gonna try and see if I can um upgrades and equipment. Add compatible missiles. What can my okay, so I can have remote guided warhead, poltergeist missile, wildfire missile, wasps Okay, so there's no missiles available for me to grab. Okay, that's fair enough. It's not great, but it's not too bad either. Okay, so for the time being, we are well, the time for peace is over, and for the last nine minutes of this video, we shall go to war in the form of attacking the sectors at the front. And hopefully, we might even just change the tide. Let's try and see if we can push it to treasure chest and nick it back from the enemy, shall we? You know, in fact, I'm going to do us all a favor. I'm going to jump to treasure chest. Ba-boom, bitches! I'm coming! 10%, 20, 30, I angle 40, myself so I don't smack into that 50%. thing. 60, 70, 80, 90, jumping. Vroom. There we go. So now that we've done that, we're now going to jump into enemy territory. Now, we are probably going to get shot at by probably as soon as we get on scene. But hopefully when I use my X-Foils, we can uh, get into... Yep, Entry there's the... System, treasure chest. Go, go, go. Quickly get going. All right, we're out of the... Well, let's get it in the clear of this. Attention. Ba boom Right. Now that we're okay, we now need to start moving to engage. So... Energy levels at... 20%, 30%. Right, let's do this. ATF. That looks pretty epic, actually. Target is now in firing range. Superiority fighter, my ass. He's got a rear gunner, but that's about it. I'm in a missile. On behalf of Boom. our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. As a reward, you get 500. Ooh, it's credits. a skim tower. We've dealt with these before, haven't we? In fact, in this episode as well. Energy low. Only disadvantage about this sector, or at least jumping between sectors, is you have to charge your energy levels up. And, of course, that ain't always perfect. But, hey, look. Consider this as realistic... Consider this a realistic concept. Because, you know, it's not always likely for us to... You're never always going to have the luxury of... Um, constantly switching between the two. Oh! That was close. I, can't take much more of this. I know, right? Yeah, I, my, my energy levels are pretty shit as well, you know. Boom! Target eliminated. That's another TIE fighter. Or another rebel. Uh, rebel? Yes, rebel. 
Imperial scumbag taken to the grave. In a very another Scimitar. another scimitar. Joy. Right, well it gives me a chance to charge up the laser cannons. Even if it's gonna drain them completely to buggery once again. Oh I don't missile. Meow. Well that did nothing to the shields, but hey, at least we hit it. Whoa! Oh look, we got the B Wing on our side as well. That's awesome. I look forward to flying in the uh, Y-Wing, actually. Once once that ship goes out, I think the next episode will dedicate it to um, getting Attention. it. God, we get... That's finally kind of a re a re an appropriate reaction there. Sweet. Okay, I think that's all of the fighters, or all of the heavier fighters taken care of. So, try and catch up. Oh, speaking of which, let's save before we die. Because I have a feeling this shit is gonna kick us in the face. Return to home base. We have a breakthrough. Really? Really? We have a breakthrough in the Can I not have some fun game? You give me the chance to do some fun, the game's like, wait a minute, you're having too much fun. Come back to base. Well you know what? Screw you. I'm not leaving this sector until I kill all of the Imperial dogs. ATF. Cargo bay now contains Ooh. remote guided warhead. Cargo bay now contains disruptor missile. Sweet. Ow. It's not damaging me too much. I can take the ship. Shot. Yeah, I can take the ship. Yep. Yeah. Boom, bitch! I'm sorry, what was that? You're dead. Oh, he's gone. Right. Any more? Any more? For any more? ATF. Well, missiles are going crazy for him. Check it out. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. Target is now Ooh, it's tie advanced as well. Silkworm missile installed. Disruptor missile installed. Ooh, I nearly bumped into a B-wing. That would have sucked. Ooh. Oh god, god damn it! Come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, motherfucker! Right, I guess the blasters are the only thing we can do. Oh, oh! Something big's just spawned. Maybe more fighters. You Who knows? The flying skills of a large asteroid. Well, this large asteroid is currently pulverizing your ass, so I wouldn't exactly go. Asteroid. Ooh, game. No. A game. Large asteroid. No game. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. A large asteroid. Thank you. Yes, large asteroid. We're well aware. What the hell just spawned in? You just said large asteroid for like God knows. Oh, e e e e yes! Not today, asshole. Your help with this invader. As a reward, you get one thousand credits. Wasp, Ooh, wasp missile. Wasp missile. Right, have we got more contacts in asteroid. this area? Not to my knowledge. Nope, don't look like it. Right, well, that seems to be the case. Oh, nice fitting music as well. So, there you go, guys. Um, little bit of excitement. Nothing, nothing too special. I might, in future reference, just copy and cut and paste um, the two bits of... Uh, like, a body, what I'll do is I'll cut through um, sort of the travelling so it's not so tedious. Like, if anything happens exciting, then maybe. But, um, generally speaking, uh, it's sort of... We spent most of this episode travelling, so in future reference, I probably will just focus on... Um, just getting from A to B now. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, though. A little bit longer episode, because I thought it might as well, as I've been spending most of it traveling. So, uh, if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below. If you do want me to sort of skip ahead to the more important stuff, by all means, let me know. Um, some episodes might be a bit shorter due to that. Like, it might be like 35 or whatever. But I'll keep it roughly to the same sort of... Um, 
uh, roughly to the same sort of deal as before, just so that way we can kind of have a rough estimation. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the Y-Wing and give that girl a shot. Hello, hello, hello. Attention. Energy low. Pirate enhanced. Jaguar ready to engage. That is ugly. Very ugly ship. Target is now in firing range. Yeah, this thing has no shields at all. She's fast, but when I got targeting on my side, it's kind of a no-brainer. Attention, energy low. Ah! A cargo bay now contains Firefly. Whoa, missile. Allied ship. Asteroid. Dang! Right, anyway. So yes, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comment section down below. I will catch you next time. This is Miss Jager, signing out.